Hi friends, in this presentation we are going to be creating something of this kind. This is a base plate and anchor board, alright? And so we are going to be defining this successfully. The base plate we will give a thickness to it and then we will create a hole on the base plate and then we will be able to insert the anchor board's micros successfully in this lesson. Alright, so if I shoot right click and then I select show all you will see this is the reinforced concrete con uh, reinforced concrete column that is carrying these steel stanchions all right for this commercial car park uh, uh structure all right so we'll be creating the base plate with anchor bows just like this and as well as weight all right because the stanchion is weighed to the base plate and then down here is what we are going to be doing in one of these uh, provisions so as to learn and to show you the best way to do it all right you are welcome once again to this presentation this is card level i want to ask you to like the lesson subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel and stay tuned for my advanced lesson of this kind straight away let us dive into the lesson so we are going to be considering this base so i will zoom this place closely just like this at first we are going to be fixing the plate and so I will click on the plate, this one. Alright. So once I select it, I will select the uh, object, the point, four points in which I'm going to place the plate. So if I select this point as my first point, this one, I'll be able to select this point as my second point. Alright. So you see, if I try to rotate this now, it's actually rotating out of point, but I'll have to zoom closely. Alright, after I must have picked the first and the second point, I pick this point to define the third point, the fourth point, and then the first point to insert the plate just like this. Okay, so I will right click and interrupt the command. So for this plate now, <laughs> I will be shifting this plate downward so if it will come in line with the surface of the stanchion. So for me to do that, I hold the control key and then hit on the W key to move it downward, you see it's a little bit embedded inside of this concrete, alright, so since I'm having it like this to avoid clash, I will have to cut this part of the concrete that is inside of the plate successfully, but by then I will have to set the plate thickness, so if I double click on this plate now, you see the thickness is 20 millimeter. alright, so I will want it to be 20 millimeter. but in your own case, you can change it from this provision. I click on apply and OK. Now I want to be cutting this uh, reinforced concrete, the part that is uh, clashing with the plate. So for me to do that, I will be using this, this one. Okay, I'll be using this micro to cut that. So how do we use it? You have to select it first. So once you get it selected, the depth of cut, you have to define it. All right, let me say the depth of cut is 400, just like this. And I click on select parts and point so i will pick these provisions and then i'm going to cut the concrete so it is the concrete that i'm going to select it is the part i'm going to select so i'll select that after having that selected what i need to do is i'll pick point four points so i will take this provision as well closely take this provision to be my first point and this is my second point okay i come to this place pick my uh third point if you zoom closely i will know if I'm actually picking the right points okay it's my third point my fourth point and then i go back to the first point so after which you will notice that uh, this is cut successfully so if i click on this now you can see this is the micros okay the uh, uh the the auxiliary micros so you can see if you select this column it's no longer clashing with the plate successfully so after having this cut, if you want to hide these micros, you can click on these provisions to get that off successfully, alright? So, the next thing we have to do is, we want to divide, define the uh, bolts on this, so we can create opening on the plate. For us to do that, we have to select on these uh, provisions, where we have uh, the bolt group, okay? Click right there. We want to create the bolt group on the plate so you have to select the plate right click to activate it pick the first point and then pick the last point just like this right click and interrupt the commands all right 
after which you have uh, the board just like this so this is not fine you have to select it double click on it to provide the dialog where we can't be able to make some editing to this just like this and you have this dialog like this so the diameter of the board is 20 millimeter the board assembly is 8.8 .8 board all right so i'll go to setting tab 2 right there board tolerance i will provide it to be 3 millimeter so 3 plus 23 so the opening we are having altogether is 23 millimeter opening while the board itself is going to be 20 millimeter thickness all right so i'll go to the positioning in this provision of this position i'll provide the clear distance okay the clear, the clear distance of the board from the edge of the of the plate i will provide it to be 50 millimeter i'll give it a space bar and then i'll provide the distance between the two boards to be 250 just like this okay the same thing i will provide in the x in the y positions or directions i'll provide 50 right there and 250 just like this okay after which i will shift this this way and i'll click on apply so you see what happened just like this okay okay it's now so you have the board just like this all right so having done this successfully what you just need to do is i have to double click on this board again and then i'll navigate to this setting one and then where i have type okay i will choose open because i want to create opening for the anchor board all right so i will choose open click on apply and okay so you can see it is open the provision for the anchor board is open successfully just like this all right so for me to insert the anchor board now the anchor board is a micros on its own a default micros this one is a default micros that come with that come with a proto uh, steel all right so i have to set it by placing the cursor on it and then right click to bring up the dialog okay so the anchor board property dialog just like this what i will do is i will have to set the depth of the embedment of the anchor board as well as the diameter the diameter of the hole is 23 but the board is going to be 20 which is this one okay so the name is m20 all right then the material so you can make changes based on what you actually wanted all right so after which you just have to click on the get and apply it then okay after which you pick the anchor board you right click all right and select the plate to get it exacted just like this automatically you enter up the commands select this you can be able to orbit around it this is it this is model enough all right okay so you can also add this area for concrete columns you can right click and then click on add selected and then you have this like this all right so this something is what you are going to be doing in all of this base all right if you are truly following the lesson successfully or you have a similar a similar project of this kind you can do this successfully the next thing we'll be considering is the weight because the without the weight the be, this base plate is going to be clashing with this tension so you we wouldn't want the base plate to clash with this tension and so we are going to be uh, you know provided a weight okay because the tension are supposed to be weighed to be the base plate successfully all right so for us to do that, we will zoom out, click outside there to deselect that uh, selected base plate. So we'll be using this provision. This is a word, a micros, okay? We'll be considering this micros. So you select the micros, and then you have to select on the line to be weighted. So I'm weighting this line, so I'll select that line, and then I'm weighting it to the base plate. So I'll select the base plate to activate that successfully, just like this, okay? Do the same thing here, activate that. Is where they do the same thing here activate it is also where it all right then on this edge you have to do the same thing yeah just like this all right then you try to orbit this so you can wait this other side so just rotate it just like this all right turn it again this way just like this you pick the word uh micros again pick the line to be weighed select the plate just like this this side too Ready this plate and yeah select the plates all right this point select the plates terminate this and orbit this this way as well just like this all away these provisions so select the 
where the micros pick this point select here also the same thing here just like this okay so after you must have gotten all of this where it successfully it means you are done with this base so this same thing you are going to apply it to all the base successfully so this is how you can create your base plates create opening and as well as anchor bolt successfully this anchor bolt you can extend it if you are not okay with this length all right you can extend it or you can reduce it depending on your spec all right so this brings us to the end of this lesson stay tuned like the lesson subscribe as we shall proceed on the design of this uh, simple commercial car park successfully so if i right click and then i click on the show all you see i have my concrete be, being in place just like this all right so with this now if you check this provision for clash now you will notice that nothing will be clashing you notice that the station is not clashing with the base plates and everything is okay with this now that you have done successfully all right so i want to bring the lesson to a stop here as we will continue in the next lesson stay tuned stay connected and see you in the next lesson bye for now